Howdy folks. Good afternoon. Here's a third video for Friday. So this is, once again, part two of being over at the Punta Gorda Nature Park. However, though, the purpose of the video is I want to focus upon a particular plant that some of you may overlook. This plant is also called the Kuntai. And you may be thinking like, okay, what's really the big fuss? Well, Kuntai is the only native cycad found in the state of Florida. And you may be thinking like, what really is a cycad? Well, a cycad essentially refers to a group of plants that grow in tropical and subtropical regions and they are essentially plants that have male and female bearing cones. So essentially they're almost like the pines. And with that being said, they are gymnosperms because the cones, they don't produce the seeds like you would think of, you know, or they do produce the seeds, but they don't have any fruit that surrounds the seed. Yeah, that's the best way to describe a gymnosperm. And actually, if you derive it from Latin, it basically means naked seed. But particularly about the kuntai is it's dioecious, which, <laughs> more fancy terms, dioecious refers to a plant that can be either male or female. And to me, that's just really neat. How essentially a plant can have two genders, just like a human. But usually, if you look along the leaves here, they do alternate along a stem. If you look very, very closely, even though it looks like they're directly opposite, they aren't. They actually do alternate. But I want to see if I can maybe stumble upon the cone. Oftentimes, if you go towards the inside of the plant, you know, towards the center, there it is. Found it. Give me just a second, mates. There it is. This is the cone that I'm speaking of. And I believe that this could be a female cone, considering how stout it is. Usually the male cones are a bit more slender in their shape. But there it is. And you can see another one behind it. So essentially these cones will disperse in due time due to animals perhaps ingesting. And then of course doing a number two. That's one way of how they can spread. But what's so neat about the cycads is they're an ancient group of plants. These have existed clear back into the Jurassic and Triassic periods. So you figure, you know, those were the times of when most of our dinosaurs were alive. So at one point, these plants right here and their ancestors they could have seen the dinosaurs. Yeah, this is the Kuntai. And what's neat about this particular plant as well is the Seminole, which refers to a tribe that used to, a Native American tribe that was settled in Florida. They used to extract the root and what they would do was they would turn it into like a paste, but then they would have to let it basically sunbathe and warm up for a couple of months. Because you don't want to eat the raw root, because it's actually poisonous. It's not safe. But they, ha they mastered a technique as to where they could have it heated 
in a matter of a couple of months and it would be perfectly safe to eat because it would with the sunlight it would ward off any bacteria and toxins that could have been in the root thus making it safe to include with their meals it was fascinating from what I learned from a friend of mine was at one point the kuntai was actually endangered in Florida because of that practical use it was being over harvested too much and actually there was a researcher who I cannot remember the, his name off the top of my head he was one of the lead people who basically researched this plant and would disperse any of the cones in given natural areas of Florida. And because of him and his team, they were able to help revive the population of the Kuntai. So to think, if no action was taken, it's possible that the uh, Kuntai would maybe be extinct or its population would be at risk of becoming extinct which in other word is endangered or threatened mostly endangered but yeah that is the kuntai they are indeed a neat plant to check out so alrighty mates if you guys learn something regarding the kuntai for you fellow natives out here and at least for those of you who go on a trail next time you'll have a bit of an idea of what it is you're looking at it's not just a an odd plant by any means there's actually a bit of history that lies behind it and what it means so hope you guys enjoyed this video and once again journey on a journey is outwards take care folks